Welcome to the 2023 PDGA Amateur and Junior Disc Golf World Championships from the Peoria area of Illinois. I'm Grant Zellner alongside a guy who's got great hair. He's an even better person. It's Nick Wilder. Nick, we are here with hundreds of players from around the world for this joint PDGA major directed by Nate Heinold and, of course, Jamie Kemp. And uh, it's going to be a great week. Five rounds of golf. Yeah, and we have almost, we have more than 800 registered players, 435 amateurs, 375 juniors. We have 15 countries out here representing six Canadian provinces, and we have 46 <laughs> United States states out here. All right, so, so we are well represented. Yeah, that's a call to those four states that aren't here. You need to get yourself in gear in terms of disc golf, no doubt about it. We got a chance to catch up with one of the directors, assistant director Jamie Kemp. We caught up with him yesterday. As a matter of fact, it was Hayden Henry and Jamie Kemp talking about this event. Hayden Henry here from the PDGA checking in with the assistant tournament director of the PDGA Amateur and Junior Disc Golf World Championships. Jamie, that's a mouthful to say, but even more to put together. What's going on on the ground here in Peoria? Well, um, we are in check-in day. Today is Monday. Um, we have 40 to 50 staffers um, coming into town all over the country. Definitely happy to have have them here because without them, we would not be able to make this happen. Um, so uh, today is check-in day. A lot of folks ro rolling through here out at five points. Um, it's nice to see their their face. I think they are, that they're definitely excited to be here. Um, and so we have a lot of things planned and happening um, today and on through uh, the rest of the tournament through Saturday. Um, but we are um, making sure that we are um, able to provide a really good product for the, for the players coming in um, from all over the world. We're definitely excited that we have 17 different countries here. Um, I believe that's um, the most that we've ever had at an amateur or a world event. Um, so we're definitely excited. You had a lot of these juniors here last year. So what's it kind of like seeing some familiar faces come through, some families come through and, and getting another crack at the courses here in Peoria? You know, it's honestly a pleasure. Um, just a little bit ago, I was stopped by a few families and they actually knew me by name. Um, I was uh, de definitely excited to see folks coming back as this is their second time here. Um, as they attended the junior championships last year. Um, a lot of feedback that we got from 2022 and we were able to um, implement most of it um, to provide a really good product for the juniors, um, spe specifically them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just been great to have folks back, some familiar faces. Um, uh, and then I also ran into a family from New Zealand um, that just got into town um, and it was just a really nice conversation for us to have. And I think ev everyone's just definitely excited to be here and that we're finally here. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, the amateurs, the top amateurs in MA1 and FA1, I mean, names that are already kind of popping up on the Pro Tour, what, what a great stepping stone for them to continue their disc golf career as well. Definitely. I mean, these uh, courses that the AMs are going to be playing are, are familiar courses on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. So it's going to be um, cool to compare their scores to some of the scores that we see um, at Ledgestone. Um, and I think that they're definitely excited to actually finally get a crack at Northwood Black. It's going to be a great week here. 11 courses, 800 players, 17 countries. So thank you for everything you've done, Jamie. And we'll see you out there on the ground this week here in Peoria. Players taking on the challenges of these courses, courses featured on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. And in fact, going off just behind us here at Northwood Park, both Northwood Blue and Northwood Black will be featured this week here as part of these PDGA major championships. A lot of players that you follow uh, over the weekend on the Disc Golf Network. These are players who once had their earliest successes right here at these majors. We're talking about players like uh, Nate and Valerie Doss, for example. Players like Nate Sexton. People like Paul Eulaberry. Jeremy Colleen, Ricky Wysocki, Gannon Burr won this event as a junior just four years ago, not even in the oldest junior division. He was in the uh, MJ15 division in 2019 and took down this major. Anthony Barella has won 
Uh, we've got so many players that you're going to be seeing in uh, coverage this week that you can follow along on PDGA Live. These are players that in two, three, four years, you're going to be seeing on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. No doubt about it. Ledgestone. Every summer, hundreds of disc golfers flock to the greater Peoria, Illinois area to compete in the sport's richest and most charitable event, the Ledgestone Open. But what does Ledgestone look like for the rest of the year? On the surface, Ledgestone is one of disc golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the disc golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your disc golf wardrobe, choose the retailer that's as passionate about the sport as you are. Choose Ledgestone. Whole 18 at Worlds, down by one. It's got to go in. Oh, no way! No way! Unbelievable. Last year, Ammon Junior Worlds were an exciting event. Players that were featured during those events, some of whom are already on the Disc Golf Pro Tour and already having great success. Let's go back and relive some of the highlights from last year's Amateur and Junior PDGA Worlds. We were in the Evansville, Indiana area for Am Worlds last year. Princeton, Indiana to be specific in 20. 22. We got to see the emergence of the Lins twins, Morgan, the forehander, Jordan, the backhander from Palm City, Florida, both in contention right up until the end. Carding Eagles. But it was 15-year-old Cadence Burge who finished strong to grab a one-shot victory for the world title, her first PDGA major. Yeah, she played out of her mind that weekend. Beautiful putt, beautiful drive. It's definitely hers. Always a cool moment at the 18th. In MA1, Paul Kranz avenging his playoff loss from just a few weeks earlier to this man, Ilkin Grow. And Paul Paul Kranz there with uh, that guy. He, uh, he definitely throws a bunch of practice putts, and you can see it <laughs> every, every time he's playing. It's a beautiful putt. Very controlled off the tee, handled the wins there at the Princeton uh, golf course very, very well. Would actually turn pro just shortly after this event. A few weeks later at Junior Worlds, Ilkin Grow, who I just mentioned, played in the MJ18 division, and Ilkin scored his own PDGA major that week. It was actually his second PDGA major of the year. In FJ12, Haley Huber from Bertha, Colorado, ran away with the division. She finished her week in the rain. A little bit of a rain-soaked victory lap there. <laughs> and Virginia Polkinghorn, you've heard her name before on coverage of other junior events. She'd finished 18 back of Cadence Burge at Am Worlds, came out here at Junior Worlds, broke through with a seven-shot victory in FJ15. Yeah, that is very impressive. You know, the growth of disc golf, especially among the junior ranks, is evident when you look at an event like this and the fact that there are more players registered this year than last year, more players registered this year than ever before in the junior ranks. Yeah, and it's definitely only going to get bigger. That's uh... <laughs> That looks like a sideways picture of a Mount Everest there with those growth, those growth rates are fantastic. Yeah, you can you can see over the last four or five years that obviously disc golf has just absolutely exploded. So seeing seeing how many juniors are getting out here and playing, it's it's great to see a lot of talent out here this weekend. Divisions ranging from eight and under all the way, of course, to the uh, MJ and FJ 18 divisions, meaning you've got to be 18 and younger. Every single one of those divisions has broken its previous record for registrants here this week in Peoria, which is fantastic stuff. Disc golf is truly a family affair. As a matter of fact, just off camera here, there are families gathering to watch their loved ones. Some of them have brought signs yep. uh, to encourage their loved ones out here on the course. It's great to see. And uh, that is a part of the game of disc golf, not just the community, but narrowing down the family as well. Check this out.
husband started playing about 12 years ago, a little more than that maybe now, and then a couple years later, as soon as the girls were big enough to walk, we started playing along with him, and sometimes it was toddlers on the back, and we'd be out playing just to get outside, and then 2019 was the first time we started doing tournaments, and all but the littlest one, we played our local tournament, the, the Battle in the Bog C tier. And it was in November, and nobody knew about things like junior layouts and stuff, so they, they played through two full adult rounds in like 35 degree weather and sleet and snow, and they were hooked. They, we, they haven't stopped since. I know that they had so much fun last year, just meeting everybody, just meeting a lot of the, the kids that are very well known because of their talent and their passion for the sport. Seeing how everybody is supportive of everybody else at this huge event for these kids is, is so impressive to me. Getting to play with other kids who are as passionate about it as they are is like nothing else. It's an experience you don't get in other sports because disc golf is a smaller community and it really is, it's a community. I mean, we don't come for trophies, we come for friends. Well, we've been telling you, the viewer, about how this is the future of disc golf. Maybe we should tell everybody how you can follow along with this event. Post-produced coverage available right here on the PDGA's YouTube channel. You can make sure to follow up the next day with all kinds of coverage, beginning with the MA1 and FA1 divisions. MA1 coming to you from Central Coast and Sky Heiser providing next day coverage of the FA1 division. Valley Forge and Crew 42 will, pr will be producing next week coverage of Junior Worlds, specifically the MJ18 and FJ18 divisions. And again, everything available for you on the PDGA's YouTube channels. We will be right back here also on the PDGA's YouTube channels live each morning with wrap-ups from the day before and a preview of coming action from courses like right here at Northwood, also Washington, and others around the area. So make sure you tune in for updates as to what's going on here at this double major from the Peoria area of Illinois. Final thoughts, Nick? before we wrap things up for day number one, players already out on the course. It's going to be a great week to say the least. They, uh, like I said, there are over 800 competitors here this week. We have 18 divisions. It's going to be a jam packed weekend. So make sure you don't miss out. And it's not uncommon for some of these divisions to end in playoffs. So no doubt it's going to be a tightly packed leaderboard in at least a number of these divisions. Definitely worth your time to follow along. Who knows, maybe you'll find your own future favorite on the Disc Golf Pro Tour by watching this coverage. So for Nick Wilder, I'm Grant Zeller signing off from day number one here from Peoria, Illinois. It's the 2023 PDGA Amateur and Junior Disc Golf World Championships. Thanks for watching.